Have you ever wondered if the mythical city of Atlantis could be intertwined with the histories of Japan and Indonesia? A question that has been stirring up intrigue for decades. This conspiracy theory has its roots in the imaginations of those who believe that the lost city of Atlantis, said to have sunk into the sea in a single day and night of misfortune, is not merely a myth, but a forgotten chapter of our past. The theory suggests that the remnants of this advanced civilization found their way to Japan and Indonesia, influencing their early history and culture. This idea has found a home among certain communities, creating a blend of mythology and history that is as captivating as it is controversial. But what about evidence? Well, there lies the heart of the matter. Despite the tantalizing allure of the theory, concrete evidence is sparse. Artifacts, architectural similarities and folklore are often cited, yet none provide definitive proof. As fascinating as it sounds, without concrete evidence, this theory remains a captivating tale. From the pyramids of Egypt to the temples of Asia, claims of ancient alien influences abound. Could Japan and Indonesia be part of this narrative? The theory suggests that extraterrestrial beings played a significant role in shaping the history and culture of these two nations. Proponents point to intricate architectural designs, complex mathematical concepts, and advanced technological knowledge seemingly beyond the reach of ancient civilizations. They claim these as evidence of otherworldly intervention. Yet when we examine these claims, we find that they often ignore the ingenuity and resourcefulness of our ancestors. Alternative explanations, such as the development of sophisticated tools and techniques over time, or the transfer of knowledge through trade and exploration, provide a more plausible narrative. While these theories may tickle our imagination, they often lack scientific backing and remain in the realm of speculation. The enigmatic Knights Templar, renowned for their secretive nature and immense wealth, could their secrets be hiding in plain sight in the histories of Japan and Indonesia? As we delve into this captivating theory, we find ourselves in the thick of the Middle Ages. The Knights Templar, a mysterious order of Christian warriors, were renowned for their influence and wealth. The conspiracy suggests they had clandestine dealings in the Far East, specifically Japan and Indonesia, hiding their secrets and treasures there. The proponents of this theory point to similarities in architectural styles and religious symbols, suggesting a connection between the Templars and these regions. Also, the alleged discovery of Templar artifacts in these countries fuels the speculation. However, critics argue that these connections are circumstantial at best. They contend that the Templars were primarily focused on the Holy Land, with little evidence supporting their presence in Asia. Again, while intriguing, these theories often find themselves at odds with established historical facts. Conspiracy theories, with their allure of hidden truths and clandestine operations, can be fascinating. But how do we separate fact from fiction? Let's recap. The Atlantis connection suggests a link between Japan and Indonesia with the lost city of Atlantis. Though intriguing, it lacks solid evidence to support its claims. Then we have the theory of ancient alien influence, proposing extraterrestrial involvement in the history and culture of these regions. Yet without substantial proof, it remains a theory. Lastly, the hidden Templar secrets conspiracy hints at concealed Templar ties in the history of Japan and Indonesia. Despite its allure, its credibility is questionable. When evaluating these theories, it's vital to employ critical thinking and evidence-based analysis. Don't be swayed by the whispers of intrigue. Instead, seek reputable sources, engage in meticulous research, and form your own conclusions. Remember, exploration and questioning are key to understanding our world. So keep probing, keep questioning, and who knows what you might uncover next.